Welcome to another deep dive. Uh, today we're going to be looking at something called Lazy Graph Rack. This is really interesting innovation. Um, you know how you hear all the time about these massive data sets and you know how difficult it can be to actually access and understand the information in them? Well, Lazy Graph Rack is kind of changing the game on that. So imagine like you're a detective. You've got mountains of evidence to sift through. It'd take you forever, right? Well, Lazy Graph Rack is like having this super powered assistant and they can just instantly pinpoint the most relevant clues for you. Without getting like bogged down in all the irrelevant stuff, it's really fascinating how it works. Basically, it combines the best of two worlds. Like imagine you're searching through data like a list write that's fast and efficient. But then also imagine being able to understand how different pieces of information connect like a mind map. And it's able to do both of those. So Lady Graffer uses this really clever technique. It's called iterative deepening. Have you ever heard of that? It's like when you're reading a mystery novel. You start with like a general overview and then you only dive into those specific chapters. So Lazy Graph Hack also has this relevance test budget and you can actually control it. Think of it like you're setting a time limit for your detective assistant. You can tell the system you know how much effort you want it to put into finding like the absolute most relevant information. So if you need a quick answer, you can set a really tight budget. But if you want to be extra thorough, you can give it more time to kind of explore all those connections in the data. This adaptability is what makes Lazy Graph Rag so powerful. It can handle like everything from simple questions to really complex investigations and it can keep the costs down too it's amazing and honestly this technology could revolutionize so many fields like scientific research financial analysis even healthcare it could help us make faster discoveries optimize all these complicated processes and ultimately make better decisions it's pretty incredible stuff okay so you might be wondering like how does lazy graph rag actually pull this off how does it work well instead of trying to map out this whole like mountain of data up front Kind of a more relaxed approach. I guess that's where the lazy in the names comes from. It only builds those connections in the data, like as you need them. It's kind of like oh. a detective building a case file, you know, piece by piece. So that means not wasting time processing a bunch of information that's not relevant to your specific question. And then on top of that, it uses something called deferred LLM computation, which sounds really complicated, but it basically means that it doesn't rely on those really powerful but expensive language models for every single step. Like imagine calling in like your expert forensic team only when you have like a really crucial piece of evidence to analyze. You know what I mean? So it's being strategic about when it uses those resources. And that keeps things, you know, efficient and cost effective, even when you're dealing with like tons and tons of data. And remember how we talked about that relevance test budget? Well, as you increase that budget, Lazy Graph Rag actually becomes even more accurate. It can like explore more connections and dig deeper for those hidden gems of insight. It's almost like giving your detective assistant more time, you know, to interview witnesses and chase down leads. The more resources they have, the more thorough that investigation is going to be. And that's what makes Lazy Graph so versatile. It can handle like a wide range of queries from just simple fact checking to uncovering these really complex relationships within the data. So now that we kind of understand how it works, let's talk about like what this means for you and for like the world in general. It's exciting to think about, right? Like imagine a world where anybody could analyze information like a pro, not just these like big companies or research labs. That's the promise of Lazy Graph Rack. Like think about it. Let's say you're a small business owner. And you're trying to understand your customers better. Lazy Graphy could help you analyze your sales data, like your website traffic, social media trends, all that stuff. And you could uncover these hidden patterns, make smarter decisions. Or what if you're a teacher and you want to create these really personalized learning experiences for your students? Lazy Graph could analyze like each student's strengths, weaknesses, learning styles, and then it could tailor the educational materials to their unique needs. Pretty cool, huh? And then think about independent researchers. We're tackling these like global challenges, right? Like climate change, poverty, disease. Lazy Graph Rag could like empower them to sift through mountains of data, unlock new insights, and really accelerate progress towards solutions. I mean, the potential applications are pretty much limitless. And by making this kind of advanced data analysis more efficient, affordable, accessible, Lazy Graph Rag could really democratize knowledge and empower individuals and organizations to like make a real difference in the world, to get a glimpse into a future where anyone can tap into the power of AI to like understand the world around us and shape a better tomorrow. And that's what Lazy Graph is all about. It's a really exciting stuff. That's all the time we have for today. I hope you found this deep dive informative and engaging and maybe even a little bit inspiring. Until next time, happy exploring.